<laughs> well, you know you're going to say you have to sit through all that stuff. But uh, no, that is true actually, and I do. It does work because if you do make people feel welcome yeah. Yeah. and give them the idea that they might even sing, you know, yeah. and that when they say, "Oh, me? No, I never sing." Uh, and in the end, they quite often do, so it's just worth all that stuff. Yeah, thanks to you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hadn't actually thought of anything to sing when I came up here tonight, um, and I've already cancelled out what I was going to sing when I when I just thought of it, so um, maybe I'll sing a song that's it's a great favourite of mine. This is, I learnt this from Bob Lewis, who's booked fairly soon, and I hope none of our committee are here because I can't remember whether we booked him or you booked him. Very no, you've got him. You've got him. Oh, right, right. Yeah. All I know is Bob Lewis is going to sing uh, fairly soon in Lewis. <laughs> I'll look up the date. And I love that. Yeah, I learned this one from him. 14th. <clears throat> and I, I do January know. the 14th. Oh, there you are. Not very long to wait. Jan the 14th at the Elephant on a Saturday night. So, And this is um, that was from him. And I do hope I pitch it right. A sweet country life is to me both dear and charming. To walk abroad on a fine summer's morning. Your houses, your cities, your lofty gay towers, in nothing can compare with our sweet shady bowers. Nor do I admire your robes and fine dresses, your silks and your scarlets and other excesses. My own country clothing is to me more endearing than your fine and pretty mantles, for it is my homespun wearing. Not really. <laughs> no fiddle, no flute. No hot boy nor spinet in aught can compare with the lark or the linnet. A down as I lay among the green bushes, I was charmed by the notes of the blackbirds and thrushes. As Johnny the ploughboy was walking all alone. To fetch home his cattle so early at morn. He spied pretty Nancy among the green bushes. She was singing much more sweetly than the blackbirds or thrushes. So now to conclude and finish off my ditty. Come all you country lasses that are so neat and pretty. Oh, never do forsake your own country employment. <coughs> no cities can afford half so sweet an enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs>